Hello student, welcome back and today we are going to continue our series on uh, medicine so yes so we are going to look at free radical so previously we already look at the medicine complementary medicine modern medicine and also uh, um, traditional medicine so now we are going to look at free radical what, do mean, what does it mean by free radical well let me change my color pencil Press wrong already. Okay, what do you mean by free radical? Okay, free radical are molecules that lack one electron which make the atom molecule unstable, reactive, or tend to attack other atoms. So, what is the effect of free radical? So, usually we get free radical if we eat. Uh, if we eat, I see here got right or not? Ah, here you didn't write. Oh. Usually we get free radical. Why here didn't write one so funny one? Mm, let me check. Definition of antioxidant substance. Extra radical. Yeah, so free radical product usually is the fried. The thing that you fry or overcook or any stuff you know lah. Huh? Usually the nice stuff is not healthy. So maybe some uh, fast food restaurant, uh, from fried chicken, fried burger, French fries. Huh? You know what food restaurant I'm talking about. It consists of free radical. So free radical means the atom molecule lack of one electron is not stable so we are not going to go to the chemical why because we know that is ionic compound covalent compound and if you still remember there is a um, atom that there are electron okay one electron two electron and so on if you still remember but free radical means the atoms have lack of one electron so when they lack of one electron when they enter the body they will take one electron they will take from you lah because they don't have ah so they take so some food like fried fruit or overcooked food it got the like maybe satay fried chicken they got one lack electron so after you eat it it will take one electron from the body but it take from where it take from your dna so that is the problem so after you eat then it will produce the free radical, the especially the uh, things that not healthy, all the overcooked stuff or not natural stuff. It will produce free radical. So this free radical, free radical is lack of one electron. So they take from your DNA. So when they take from your DNA, your DNA start to change. When it start to change, it can cause cancer. It will cause mutation. Your DNA is very, 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 very small, made up of protein and it, it got the genetic code that's very 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 small but you take the electron from it means the dna will change 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 that it will change to become a cancer cell cancer cell means it's not a good cell and it will continue to grow some cancer cell it don't grow but it they sort already the cell not good also they tell grow up more and more give me more give me more give me more so the thing will grow so they go in the brain, go into the hand, go in the stomach, we call it a tumor, cancer cell. So that is why when we eat the food with free radical, though here didn't write the example, but we know that usually it is the fried food, overcooked food, above 300 degrees, you know lah, huh? the, the oil, water boil at 100 degrees Celsius. But the oil boil at 300 or 350, can you imagine? It is so hot and you cook it, pss, then you eat a lot of free radical, but it, it still tastes very good, though it's not healthy. My friend told me, uh, you, you in Malaysia, you cannot talk about healthy, healthy, because healthy and good food is contradicting. We, are, we live in Malaysia, we only talk about health, we talk about good food, we don't talk about health. Hey, Apple like this, my friend, someone he's a teacher. No lah. Because we are uh, we learn science, we know that um 
we need to take care of our health. If not, we will waste money. And sometimes good food is also very nice. Uh, depend on how you eat it. Even cucumber is still very nice. <laughs> still very nice. But you need to learn. Uh, I, I learned to eat cucumber. Last time, I don't eat cucumber. I, I, when I eat cucumber, I will vomit. But later, we will learn why cucumber is the anti, uh, antioxidant food. So, what happens when you eat free radical? The fried thing and, and so on. It will cause a process called oxidation. So what is oxidation? Oxidant occur when a substance lose electron. So oxidation is when a something lose the electron. So the oxidation process occur inside the body to produce free radical. So when you eat something, it will cause oxidation where a substance lose electron and it will produce a free radical. So you can see like for example like the, the picture here free radical. So you get less well, of one electron and it will take from people. So when you eat, it will cause oxidation. Oxidation will cause free radical. Free radical will take one electron. I don't know lah. Huh? Sometimes it's from your DNA, from I don't know lah. Huh? You want to take from where? From here, 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 I don't know. Uh, take, take, take already the DNA change already then suddenly got cancer so uh, yeah so if you take the electron triggers a chain chemical reaction to produce more free radical oh my goodness more means you eat like if you this here don't have then here don't have then here take from here here take from here here take from here take from here then the body start to have problem more metabolism inflammation are the two factors that produce free radical uh in the in the in the body huh? metabolism is the huh? Meta metabolism is when the body produces energy and also inflammation uh zhong zhuo, I mean inflammation zhong zhuo. uh maybe you got inflammation at inside your body usually fat yi hei ya hui zhong la ma. but sometimes this happen in your body so you sometimes you don't know they are talking about inflammation in your body which sometimes you cannot see that's why outside you see the person is very good but inside you don't know yeah inside in got inflammation uh, they got some part injured already in inside the body two factor because of um, free radical again uh, so don't eat the food that produce free radical factor that have free radical oh here got a uh, sorry here got just as uh cigarette smoke exposed to radiation sunlight air pollution hey, why he didn't say food lah so oh, funny man. of course food as well eh? food i would say is the uh, one of the main factor so don't smoke i don't know some of my students smoke i tell them don't smoke because we are in the science class don't waste money uh, we don't smoke because smoke is unhealthy causing free radical free radical that take electron from your dna which will cause cancer smoke cause free oxidation free radical take electron get cancer exposed to radiation that is why i don't like the exposure even though i'm a guy i like sport when i go out i take umbrella i only exercise in the morning and evening i don't exercise during the the mid 12 o'clock sun unless i want to die you don't say that so exposure to radiation maybe the sun uv light or whatever radiation it's not healthy so i sometimes i take umbrella even though i'm a guy it's not because uh, yeah, you scared the sun, bro. It's not I scared the sun because I know science. Science say that due to radiation, it will cause free radical, then it will cause cancer. So if you see people that always go under the sun, they get older faster. This here, like you see here, cause premature aging condition. So if you always go under the sun, you eat the fried thing, McDonald's, and you you always smoke you go under the sunlight due to also radiation air pollution you see the person grow older faster so the person will get old faster because <clears throat> he always exposed to radical so he need to buy sk2 or some beauty product l'oreal i don't know I, all this i watch from youtube one so it become more beautiful or you can 
eat more healthy food. You don't nah, you don't smoke, you don't expose to radiation, you don't expose to sunlight. I'm not talking about morning sunlight, I'm talking about the 12 o'clock sunlight. Don't expose to everything, then you become more pretty. Then you don't need to buy SK2 or L'Oreal or no need makeup. So you can take care. It's good for you to learn this early so that you can continue to be beautiful and your future husband will love you assuming that you haven't get married yet huh? of course what go up will come down huh? you you can make it longer but eventually everyone will get old huh? but old there is a beauty in the old people love but i, I don't know lah huh? you see some old people they also love their wife my when the wife old already right already come up the face come down already but the the husband still love the wife right and the wife still loves the husband with something that science cannot explain in the science class it's very difficult to explain this thing i also don't know cigarettes explosion sunlight air pollution which is uh the things that uh, cause free radical so free radical again it caused by remove the electron from the dna which is a very small genetic uh, protein makeup to uh to make our body then it form carcinogen substance means carcinogen means it can the carcinogen substance means it can cause mutation and cancer means it is something like huh? carcinogen is something that can cause mutation and cancer so free radical causes in cardiovascular disease and infertility so maybe heart attack or huh? cardio or stroke infertility cannot have baby low sperm quality low ovum quality so that's why nowadays we can see more children that have problem probably i guess it's more towards the food last time people when they give birth they got so many problem but nowadays you can see they make the baby they, they produce the offspring but the baby got so much problem huh? so why because the food you every day eat the mcdonald then then this is what you get but i didn't say you didn't cannot eat i say control control the thing that you eat maybe one week once or two week once not every day every day means habis damage the kidney liver and lung okay so yeah it will damage the kidney liver and lung it will cause premature aging condition wrinkles and uh, so on so yep it will cause become older faster so if you want to stay young and beautiful so do not eat uh, the, so what we can do to stay young and beautiful let's learn in the next chapter okay this is the air pollution so make sure your air is clean the sun radiation ionized radiation and um, we don't want to go into deep land this one may be due to some factory that you work they got ionizing radiation some factory some more what maybe x-ray machine some machine that produce radiation, toxic waste, cigarette smoke. My daddy got smoke, eh? cause all the free radical, not good. That's why I like the government. They say nowadays they change the law, cannot smoke. I mean, I like it very much. Not not because I don't want people to smoke. I want to save life. If I don't do, I ask people smoke means people will die so i want i want to save life so even though they like or don't like it i want to stop smoking but it's lucky yeah the government stop slowly if me i will uh, straight away stop because i want to save life i know it will be difficult for people but i i believe myself i will save thousands of life even though if they hate me also i don't care because i will save a lot of people antioxidant substance so how to remain beautiful how to remain beautiful so you need to take a lot of anti uh, antioxidant substance substance that can slow down or stop oxidation so you don't want so much of oxidation so it will slow down the oxidation so that the the protect the body from free radical so we can see that uh, so that our body capable of adding on antioxidant substance but as we go grow old, the ability decrease. Therefore, we need to get antioxidant food. So what are the examples? We can see mango, carrot, potato. So all this got beta carotene, which you can find. 
or you eat more lutein like what green vegetable spinach cabra and broccoli any anything but sometimes i go to eat lok lok ah then you take the vegetable you put in the oil the lok lok you know then wow the vegetable very nice but habis all the way timing habis you don't think you eat the vegetable ah huh? it's not a vegetable the chemical compound already changed huh? when you go to lok lok you the vegetable yeah so i try to uh the the vegetable you don't overcook it yeah? just good and enough let it be crunchy and fresh then that would be a very good food lack of thin a substance that got fruit such as papaya guava watermelon tomato apricots grapefruit and orange many fruit lah many fruit and vegetable you eat you can stay young and beautiful vitamin c kiwi strawberry cranberry cabbage green pepper cereal so all this is the way timing c which also help to um, um in reducing the antioxidant so that's why we say uh, reducing the oxidation food so we call it antioxidant substance so you can see here to have the fried sotong fried lala fried chicken fried burger here all don't have vitamin e also known as alpha help in building palm oil germ oil corn oil found in apricot broccoli and mango as, as well so these are the these are the um, healthy food that help you to keep healthy and beautiful and it tastes quite nice and i like mango a lot lah. i like vegetable a lot I, I i of course i like kfc also uh, but i like i like i like it but <laughs> both is nice lah. both is nice so yes hopefully this chapter help you to stay healthy action of antioxidant on free radical so how does this help so if you slow it the free radical it make it more stable so it will stop the antioxidation process so make sure you got eat vegetable and fruit and all this product so that oxidation won't happen in your body so that we can stay healthy and we can live quite uh quite an uh, old age yeah? we live longer maybe up to 80 years old or 100 years old because we don't want to die at 60 years old 50 years old but i know lah huh? maybe for you it's not related huh? i say never mind lah huh? i'm still young i never think of it i only think about my study svm but don't worry the, it's the the time is very fast if you don't take care now then next time the hospital will take care of the person factor of affecting so what are the factor affect oxidation if the food exposed to air for too long so you can see the apple then the apple become brown color fresh apple cut become brown so the oxidation occur so which one is more healthy this one is more healthy this one is not healthy so that is why after mommy cut the apple faster eat if you don't faster eat or faster drink it will become brown color antioxidant all the way timing already habis gone to don't know where after cut faster eat so that you still got the it will help you as an antioxidant food because after it become the brown color it it, uh, I don't know already become like no way timing already huh so these are the example uh put in the sugar lime or common salt if they after they put in common salt the apple will slow oxidation is it so yes uh, some people know this so that maybe this is experiment uh. I haven't do I forgot already whether sugar lime or sodium bicarbonate will slow down the oxidation process so maybe you can put the salt ah uh, when to put the salt on the apple so the apple won't so fast uh, uh, become brown color this experiment which is good i hope that you got time in your school to do it okay okay so maybe we can end with some questions so you can pause this video and think what are free radical let one electron which makes the atom or molecule unstable reactive and tend to 
a thick outer atoms or molecule. Correct. Okay, it makes the molecule lack of one electron. Number two, explain how free radical are formed. Oxidation process occur naturally inside the a body to produce free radical. Yeah, okay, free radical are formed due to oxidation process. Very good. Give two reasons why free they are free radical. Why they are free radical in the body. Okay, so uh, free radical of course is due to the oxidation process due to the things the things that we eat or the thing that we expose. So why they are the question asks give two reasons. So maybe you can say the person exposed to the exposed to external factor like the uh, you got free radical when you're exposed to the violet ray air pollution toxic bay. or you have free radical if you eat the unhealthy things that cause uh, internal factors like metabolism and white blood cell causes free radical due to uh, the food that you eat which is uh, but i don't know why the book didn't write here um i don't know how the book maybe they're scared i'm wrong maybe if i'm wrong but cannot be uh, free radical is come from the body so yeah okay so anyway uh you just say that uh free give two reason free radical okay what are the external reason the internal reason probably due to the for example, the food that we consume, uh, the food that is the unhealthy food, like the fried food that actually cause the metabolism and uh, what. Maybe they don't want to say it because uh, it is very difficult to test because you say, I because I say, for example, you eat fried food means we'll get cancer. Then they will ask me, how you know? Have you test? You haven't test? How you know? Maybe not because of McDonald's, maybe because of the vegetable or maybe because he always didn't sleep so he got cancer so again uh, regarding food and nutrition it is uh, very difficult to test but any but we know hopefully you know i already tell you that some of the food is very unhealthy acid benjoy in the chili with the preservation coloring food coloring uh, all the canned food uh, don't eat too much which is actually not healthy um, natural product is the best okay so that's it for this video if no video we will end today class so okay know that i will end today's class and i see you next time thank you and bye bye thank you teacher bye